Every super fan dreams of having that ultimate collectible. Well, we're about to make those dreams come true. This is Super Fan Builds. I'm Tim Baker. I've been a master builder and prop maker in film and television for 25 years. If you can dream it, we can build it. There's nothing my crew and I can't make at Tim Baker Creations. So, Tim, are you familiar with Disney Pixar's Up? Of course. It's a fantastic film. Who would you say is your favorite character? Um, Carl? Carl. Very sweet man. Steve Minty, our super fan for today's build, would totally agree with you. He's a huge fan of the movie in general, and he was nominated by his best friend, Esteban. Okay. Let's check out the video. Hey, super fan build, my name is Esteban, and I like to nominate my best friend, Steve Minty, who's an awesome guy, and he's a big fan of the movie Up. After he saw that film, he started creating his own Up artwork. He loves all the characters in the movie, and he especially loves Russell. He actually created a costume and dresses up like him when we go to Comic-Con. Two years ago, he adopted an abandoned dog and named her Doug. She's been his travel buddy ever since. I would love it if you guys can create something cool for Steve. Maybe something for him and his dog. I hope Steve can be your up super fan. For our next super fan, we've got a fan of Pixar's movie Up. He sent us a picture here and he's, he's got a little doggy, so I think we can make him a little dog house based on the house from Up. So we can build him something like this. Dog can go in here. There'll be a hidden metal frame that'll support the house so it makes it look like it's floating with a support that comes all the way up and that will hold the balloon shape. All right, Josh, these are the plans for the floating dog house. I've got all the proportions drawn out there and I'll leave the materials to you. We're gonna go with some inch and a quarter heavy wall, which could hold several hundred pounds on the cantilever. We'll end up going about six and a quarter inches off the ground. Now your four pegs are done for your cantilever. There she'll sit and it'll look like it's floating. We're gonna start over now on getting the chimney on here, which is gonna hold the balloons. We're all done welding now. I'll have Steven grind this down, get it all cleaned up, and send it over to the other shop. I printed out all the blueprints for the up doghouse. I put all the molding detail, all the railing and stuff on these so that we can cut them out and get them transferred over. This will be the baseboard for the doghouse, and then uh, this will be the door where the dog will come in. So this whole space will be for the dog bed. This channel down the middle is gonna be where the metal frame's gonna come through. We're just cutting in the windows, getting all the, the trim finished up, marking out where the doors are gonna go. The walls are then carefully fit and arranged on the base where they're nailed into place. Well, I have the basic frame for the house done. It's just kind of roughed out. All the angles are, are good, and I've designed it so that the roof will come off in two sections. That way we can get in there and clean the dog bed and all that. All, all we have left to do on this is all the trim. Today we are putting in the side panels and doing the tiles. Rob is hand cutting each piece of the siding from planks of flat balsa wood, and then hot gluing them into place. For certain sections of the front of the house, we use the same rounded shingles that Erica will be using on the roof. We've got all the shingles on the roof now. We only have the top section left to do. That's got to mold around and overlap, so I'm using a styrene block I've cut up, and then I'll be melting it, heating it up so it's really soft, and then I can bend it around, and then it'll form and give us that kind of cartoony look. I am working on some of the Victorian flourishes for our beautiful up house. These porch posts I turned um, from half inch square stock and just like with the little spindles, I used a triangle file, kind of lathing it by hand, just rotating and filing and uh, getting some nice little touches for those posts. We got all the major construction done on the house. It's gonna stay uh, removable. That way, you know, you can get to the dog bed and things inside. So Tim wanted to add a little bit of character to the front of the house here. And since our super fan already cosplays as Russell and he already has the dog, Doug, we're gonna add a little Carl to the front. In the movie Up, the house is lifted away by a giant cluster of balloons. That cluster is almost twice as big as the actual doghouse, so we'll have to cast a lightweight hollow shell. To create the shell, Stacy and Erica carved the basic shape from bead foam, and then we covered it with hundreds of plastic eggs to represent the hundreds of balloons needed to lift the house off the ground. We filled the gaps between the eggs with foam-to-foam -foam adhesive and clay to give it a nice smooth surface. We'll be making our mother mold out of Smooth On Foam at 3. It's a rigid foam, so we paint it on. It'll foam up about 3 to 4 inches, and uh, we can do our resin cowpies from there. Mold came out just perfect. We're gonna get it cleaned up, back in the mold, and then we can start painting in all of our resin. 
Next, Rachel and Erica will apply layer after layer of clear resin epoxy, while adding crushed fiberglass between the layers to give it additional strength. With the resin balloon cluster removed from the mold, we make some quick fixes to get it ready for painting. We're just priming this out real quick with a fast drying primer that'll give us a good surface and make our colors really pop. The thing about this house is every single wall, every face is a different color, so we can't just spray it. With the house painted, Stacy starts work on the landscaping for the base. So the first step will be applying just a paint surface our grassy area. We actually use a turf mixture that is essentially just kind of a ground foam and we take our kind of different colors and blend them together. This will give us our grass texture. We're using the same uh, flexible urethane foam for our dirt base here. Just uh, little rocks, a little bit of gravel to give it some texture. Erica's finishing up the fence. We're gonna do a test fitting of the balloons and uh, then we're ready for delivery. So Steve, your friend Esteban says that you're a super fan of Disney Pixar's Up. Is that true? It's true as you can tell. <laughs> ah, as we can see just behind you, look at all this stuff. How long have you been collecting these things? Uh, I've been collecting it since the movie came out actually. Tell us what it is about Up that makes you such a fan. Well, the first, 10 minutes is just really emotional and made me cry. Oh, totally. And the visuals of the movie was fantastic. It just hit me. Now, you're such a big fan of Up that you even cosplay sometimes. At first, I kind of was against the idea, but when I thought about it, it was true. I look like Russell and his fun nature and his desire to explore a lot. And tell me about this little guy that you're holding. Yes, this is Doug. Uh, I adopted her two years ago. Uh, I see that she's wearing a very interesting collar there. Yes, you know, it's a speaker system that it connects to an MP3 player, and I uploaded some sound bites from the movie. Then she uh, cosplays with me. She cosplays with you too. Like, that is true super fan stuff. So Steve, we got Tim Baker of Tim Baker Creations to make something for both you and for Doug, since Doug's so important to you and up so important to you. Are you ready to see what it is? Absolutely. Oh my God. That's amazing. That's Carl. It's sculpted and it looks amazing, just like the character. It has a hose and everything. And it's floating off the floor. Each individual tile is done. That's awesome. So Steve, what do you think? I think it's phenomenal. Thank you. <laughs> it's insane amount of work. So Tim, tell us a little bit about the creation of this awesome doghouse. Well, the house is pretty much made completely of wood and the balloons are all fiberglass and they keep it pretty lightweight. To make the house look like it's floating, we made a steel frame that raises it up just a few inches off the ground. Not so much that the dog can't get in, but enough so it gives that illusion. We tried to pay really close attention to the detail and reproduce this as close as possible. We've used almost 3,000 shingles on the roof, the siding, everything was cut, measured, and, and done by hand. All the colors were matched as close as we could get them. We've got uh, hand-carved brass weather vane, the shrubbery and the grass and everything. We tried to get it just about the same volume as in the film. Does Doug have a house right now, or was Doug in need of a home? My dog is in need of a home. Should we give it a shot? You want to go inside right now? It's amazing. Come on, check it out. It's a new dog house. Oh, there we go. So another satisfied super fan. Guys, if you have a super fan that you would like to nominate, you can do that by emailing us at superfanbuilds at break.com. So now that Shawnee's roughed out the armature, we've gone back in and added some epoxy to sculpt the branches and little um, foliage pieces, but we're getting close. So here's our tree. 